So this is part two of the video showing this cedar tabletop of epoxy and I'm going to show how we set up the mold and then the types of epoxy we're going to use and how we mix the first batch and apply. So the foundation of this mold is a four by eight sheet of melamine board from Lowe's, three quarter inch. And before I put these slabs down on it, I sprayed down some of this epoxy mold release that you get on Amazon. It helps the epoxy come off easier off your mold. And for the ends, we took a couple of pieces of wood and put on one tape for the building wrap. And that also is very helpful. The epoxy doesn't stick to it. And this one, this end piece is already secured. And I'll show how I secure this end on here right now. So this piece. We're gonna talk, we're gonna seal this with some silicone talk and run a small bead that will go along the back here off these edges. We'll go up the end of both of these slabs. Seal off that end. And then to get this to stick immediately, where I don't have to wait hours for this silicone to dry before I can pour epoxy. We're going to glue it in with hot glue right away. And there it is. It'll cool down in about 20 or 30 seconds and it'll stick there. For all of our epoxy work. So here it is, we have it glued in place. That hot glue will cool in about 30 seconds and we'll be ready to pour our epoxy. So I wanted to mention that this slab I glued down, I sealed it with a bead of silicone top, the DAP, and this one I did not. And the reason for that is this one is more clear underneath without rot and I could seal that off easily and that's beneficial. This one has a lot more rot underneath it and I wanted the first pour of epoxy to do the job of seeing it off. So I'm ready to start mixing epoxy and pouring it. So we'll be using today the liquid glass super clear epoxy system. And you can purchase this readily on Amazon. And this is a deep pour epoxy for two inch to four inch thick pours for river tables. Dealer coat, they recommend using the super clear tabletop epoxy, which is like a thinner surface epoxy or a sealer. And so we'll be using that first today for our sealer coat. There's part A and part B. And all these products from super clear come with a very helpful instruction manual and on uh, mixing and pouring with a lot of detail a lot of helpful information i was really thankful for this uh, this comes with the instructions for the other the deep pouring epoxy. So the manufacturer recommends to mix this for a minimum of three minutes. Um, a note about mixing times, the manufacturer's recommendations are applicable for room temperature for 72 degrees. So if you're colder than room temperature, you can mix longer and sometimes you have to mix longer to get it mixed properly. Like if you're down in the 60s, 60 degree range. If you're above room temperature, you're working in a hot, summer environment workshop that's not cool or something like that and it's 80 90 100 degrees you have to cut mixing times down to half or third or you'll over mix product and ruin it so just take note of that with mixing times that has to be adjusted according to the temperature that you're working with So now I have the sealer coat mixed up and I'm just going to pour it in over all the areas that need to be sealed shut just as a thin first coat 
to seal it all in so when we do the, the deep pour epoxy, it'll eliminate a lot of air bubbles and excess material seeping into the wood. So this is a seal coat. I'm just trying to seal up as much of this open porous wood as we can before we do the deep pour. I'm just spreading it out as much as possible. On the parts that are firmer where little pieces won't crack off, I'm going to spread it around with a brush. But most of this I'm just going to drizzle it on these open parts. Seal them up as much as I can today. So we've got our seal coat finished up and we'll let this dry and harden up and then we'll do our deep pour next.